I think it's working. People should be hearing this beautiful music that I'm gonna turn down just a little bit. Not too much. Oh, hey, yeah, I can see stuff. I'll be able to enjoy it. Uh oh. Whoa! Settings! Hearts! Wands! I see the wand. Guys, this is Long Live the Queen. My name's Phil Kohler. I'm being joined by, once again, Austin Walker. Uh, the Queen? Queen Janine. It's me. Queen Janine. Long live yeah. me. Long live Scratty Janine. B says, We princess now. This is yeah. Long Live the Queen. Uh, would you believe that this is a game that Janine recommended I check out? <laughs> yep. Yeah. What? Why would she? Her? Let's look at our checklist here. Lots of achievements. Also, Lots deaths. Of achievements to get. Jesus. Oh, wow. Alright, well. Gotta get them gamer points. Deaths. Pixel says Pixel Kaiser says you're coming out of his left ear. Oh, you are right, coming out why, of my left why, ear. Why? Uh, <laughs> I blame. I blame Janine for that. Of course. Uh, it's the queen. So. Hold on, I'll try to fix that, you guys. <laughs> oh, buddy, Phil. Ugh. I just, I don't even know where that's set. That's a setting somewhere in OBS. Presumably. All right, I'm looking for my settings. Oh. Is your threat, is your noise gate set weird on, like, I don't know. No, the noise gate doesn't affect that at all. Um. Bleeding heart in the chat, that's Janine on the stream, <laughs> says... Give royal title and also stereo sound. Rockley Smile says this game is admittedly not for everyone, but I totally got into it after like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to get into it, if that can ever happen. Uh, force microphone auxiliary to mono. That seems like the opposite of what we want to do, right? Well, no, because I think it would still put you both into both. Yeah, yeah. That so would that flatten. Is, that is what I want. How does this sound? Does this... Is it better? Please, God, tell me it's better. <laughs> yeah, Somebody work. tell me it's fixed? Oh, thank God. Oh. Good job. I'm going to get into the game before anything else bad happens. Uh, but look, Wait. what we know so far lots is there are a lot of bad things are going to happen in the game. Lots of deaths. <laughs> Let's start the game. And for people asking, yeah, this game is legit good. Jocelyn. Duke of Caloris. Right. Think of like if Princess Maker aspired to be a roguelike. Here's Elodie, the Crown Princess. It's, <coughs> it's not either, but you know. I, I believe inspired. Elodie is who we're playing, right? Yes. Well, you're super sad, of, right? You're like you're like her. Oh, so there's a little question mark here. We can get extra information about the character. Age 14. We're single. Nice. <laughs> Great. Yeah. You're playing the field right now. You know, <laughs> see where options are. Making mistakes, but that's okay. It's part of growing up. Part of, part of being 14. Did you guys see the shit about the, the lead singer of The Lost Prophets? No. What happened? Did you see this shit? No. That's incredible. I want to talk about it right now before we get into the game. <laughs> Let's talk about Seems it. Seems like a good time to talk about it, right? Well, yeah. I mess with the volume a little bit more. Uh, did you listen to The Lost Prophets ever? Yeah, I, I saw them in Philly along with Andrew WK and 311. <laughs> I it's just, a pretty good show. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to be, like, not into them, but I was like, ah, their music's all right, I guess. Yeah, sure. I just discovered... I, I just saw, saw this news story last night. Uh-huh. So they've been, they've been on hiatus for, like, a year, and the reason they were on hiatus is that the lead singer was being sued. Oh, boy. Uh, or was in court. Um, uh -huh. And just recently, this week, he was found guilty. Lead singer of Lost Prophets. No, no fucking joke. Go look yeah. this up, guys. I'm found, doing it. found guilty of like, like a bunch of different counts of like child pornography, and not just like child <sighs> pornography, like looking at it, like child pornography that he recorded. Um, cool. and also attempted, oh. also attempted rape of an eleventh month old. 11th I just month read that. Days. 
just read that. Eleven month old. That's like, nope. so like, it's like nope. pedophilia is real awful. And then there's like attempting to rape a baby. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to our lighthearted chat. Yeah. Where we become a princess. Cool. <laughs> what, Dylan, that's not even a. No, that's a great joke, Dylan. Great. <laughs> Uh, let's let's keep going now that I've told that story. Sorry, I just had to tell that because it freaked. Like I was just like, that's that's super fucked. That's super fucked. Jocelyn says I know it's hard to leave your school and all your friends, but I've arranged the best possible tutors. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still caught up on this lost profits thing. Right? It's messed up. Wow. It's super messed up. Wow. This music. Is, is actually goes along pretty well with that story. It's real sad. Great. Fallen from grace. Lost profits. Were they ever really in grace? Well, you know, it's, ar it's arguable. Uh, this is not what Mother would have wanted. She looks mad. Great. Bad stuff. So her mother's dead. Yeah, I got, I got that. Yeah. I'm picking up. I'm, I'm letting the people know in case they're not keeping, keeping along with the dialogue here. Because I'm not going to read all the dialogue. But I'll try to... Read voices? No. I will be here, your guide. Wait. Two guides. <laughs> You're... Nope. See, you just <laughs> proved why we can't do voices. God. You can't handle that responsibility. Good work. I'll just try a different character. Don't worry about it. Right. So I'm gonna say, tell me more, because I haven't played this before, and I'm not gonna lie to the princess. We're gonna be controlling Elodie. Cool. We're in a land called Nova, apparently. She takes classes every week in order to raise her skills. The skills she learns provide different choices in the ongoing plot. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be deciding which skills she picks up and that's going to help determine the path that our story goes in as princess okay and eventual queen if we make it if we make it when we make it. uh you also need to keep an eye on her mood <laughs> she's not very happy right now i see that where my mom <laughs> <laughs> you're really she died great good lost in walker compassionate person yeah <laughs> Dylan says she should learn magic missile. That's a good skill. Um, LD is feeling both afraid and depressed. Yeah, I see that. Her strongest emotion is depressed. Mine too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If she becomes more cheerful to cancel out the depression, her strongest emotion would then be afraid. Great. Cool. That's terrifying. It's already making me more afraid. All right. Her mood affects her ability to learn. Bonus to this some hit, skills, penalty to others. This is hitting close to home, you guys. Oh, uh, look at all these numbers. Some real That's math going on here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, get, your, get your sword skill up. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to just look over this. Noven. So I guess that's the, the people. Yeah. Oh, Nova. Noven. Three different economic skills. <laughs> Internal affairs, ciphering. That sounds pretty rad. Oh, make her a spy. Make her a spy. I kind of like the idea of making her a spy princess. Yeah, make her a spy princess. And every time you get those like chunks of like certain a... points, you get new outfits, uh, like spy outfits. Pandara in the chat points out this is, this is like a pretty intense stat sheet. Like this is a yeah. more imposing stat sheet than in a lot of RPGs that I've played There's lately. There's a freaking naval strategy has its own thing. <laughs> I'm way into this. Uh, so, Janine, you've played this before. Austin, you haven't, mm -hmm. right? I have not. I have not. I actually so Janine, and let me watch her play this once, and then we just waited until now, I guess. Janine, you can give me some tips, but don't yes. you know? Don't don't ruin everything. Don't don't push us. Don't don't let us know what's going to happen <laughs> before it happens. Yeah, it's yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't intend to do that. <laughs> Slop for sure says max out public speaking and ciphering and nothing else. <laughs> because LD is depressed, she has a negative two penalty to the social skill set. Um, 
Oh, to the conversation skill set under social, specifically. She doesn't feel like talking to people right now. If she studies conversation, she'll, she will earn two minus two points per day. That is zero points. Thank you, game. <laughs> Plus one bonus to expression. Because depressed people want to express themselves. Mm -hmm. Poetry. Right. There are some skills we can't see yet. I want to know what those are. Yeah, me too. If you study a skill you have a penalty for, you could be wasting your time and not learning anything. If you study a skill that you have bonuses for, you're going to learn much faster. Obviously, so we'll... We'll need to do the right thing. Okay, these are... Oof. <laughs> these are all the classes to choose from. Oof. This is nothing like where I went to school, but... I guess, yeah, that's... Faith hmm. class. One of my favorites. I mean, I I went to faith school for like 16 years, so I mean. Poor thing. Yeah. That well, explains a lot. Yeah, you know, I was like done with faith by the end, honestly. Like, I wouldn't be faithless if uh, I hadn't gone to all those years of faith school. So, this is the different subsets of skills. Mm hmm. Um, so, that makes sense. And you probably mm -hmm. want to take classes in things where you're either normal or have a bonus. Mm hmm. One thing to say about this is it does skill checks really, really often okay. um, in various things, and it will surface the results of those. And you're probably going to see a lot of fails, and that that's just kind of how it is. You, you can't win them all. You know, a lot of games. Like, how much of this is so? Like, of... how much of this is just branching paths based off what you've chosen, and how much is like randomized events? I I think it's mostly branching. Okay. But there, there are a lot of things that, like, if you go here at X time, X okay. event will trigger or something. Um, okay, so bubbles are going to tell you when moods change. Bubbles are going to show you when the story has changed, based on what skills you've learned. You can turn the bubbles off, but I think we're going to keep them on. Sure. The bubbles are good. Alright, I think we're... I think we're going. Let's save our game. Just name it save one. Mm -hmm. Lumberjack Banana says the skill checks are super unfair, and I I agree, but I think they're supposed to be. Here's the faith things. Meditation, divination, lore, sense magic, resist magic, and wield magic. Uh, you know, everybody who follows me in World of Warcraft knows that I am a lore master. Um, <laughs> so sure. I think that's that's what I lean towards, and I feel like lore is something that can help us as a as a cipher, as a, um, a right, spy. You don't want to you don't want to when you decipher you know an enemy text and it's referencing some sort of crazy <laughs> spell. You don't want to want to know what they're talking about. <laughs> Dylan says wield magic and falcons. <laughs> wants magical falcons. Now everybody in the chat wants magical falcons. Um, <laughs> logistics is probably a good thing if we're going to be spy. Mm -hmm. Flattery, I think, would probably be a good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Composure, presence, presence, I like that. Sure, I think presence, um, Christmas presence. Um, right now we gotta get we gotta get whatever is so, that minus demeanor and conversation. Fixed. Only outfit we have right now is our boarding school uniform. The way that you're gonna fix royal demeanor and conversation, well, like. Is, is going to be through your wandering around and, and doing stuff that'll affect your mood and then your mood will change and change those buffs, debuffs, etc. Rockley Smile says there's like one falcon skill check. Some of the stats are nearly useless. It could be an important one though. Um, yeah, that could be the one. Mm -hmm. Alright, so at the moment nope. at the moment we don't want to take demeanor or conversation because we're right. negative in that. Or athletics. Anything else is free game. Expression would be great. What about expression voice? You think that's a good start? Is that like singing? Yeah. Is it? Spies sing. You've got right? like home decor and then like musical instruments and then singing. Mm -hmm. Spies sing, right? I mean, yeah. Let's do it. They'll call us the singing spy. Which is... It's a bad cover in Oh, wait, maybe we can't do a, an expression um, class in the morning, it looks like. It's got, like, maybe. weird stuff over it and won't let me select it. I think that's already selected. Doesn't that mean that's selected currently? Oh. You know, they, over on the right, you have to pick 
what option you want. Oh, yeah, okay. I see. Mm-hmm. Haha! Putting it together. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's sing. Let's become singing. And then do I choose the evening class right now as well? What do we want to do? Yes. We want to get into... Well, should we just get into ciphering? Move right into that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Foreign intelligence, internal affairs, any of the intrigue stuff? It'd be yeah, pick out the things that you think are gonna keep you not dead. Here, let's let's start with internal affairs because right now we're young. I bet someone is gonna try to like stab us in the fucking back. It's already too late. Have you already picked ciphering? No, I did internal affairs. Bonus depressed. <laughs> you practice deep breathing exercises to build up your ability to sustain a note. Tell you have children of your own. Your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. Get we need to get rid of, of them. We need to fucking kill them. We need to get rid of them yep. immediately. This is Crusader Kings 2. This is Crusader Kings 2. We're playing Holy Crusader shit. Kings 2. Oh, boy. I would have just high-fived you, by the way, Phil. <laughs> Wraith Lord of Dreams uh, was freaking out that we had 69 viewers. Great. Yeah. Nicely done. Uh, all right. Oh, my cousin's my aunt and uncle. No. Fuck. Kill him! Stab him! Stab him! <laughs> Lucille is the aunt. She she doesn't look trustworthy. She, she's gonna try Lauren, to kill you. Oh, that fucking goatee. Fuck you. Fuck Get you. Get out of here. God. <laughs> Charlotte has blood red eyes. Also, I he called you niece. Trust her. Laurent called you niece. He said, hello, niece. He's also, a murderer. He looks stoned. Really stoned. Just saying. Yeah. And she's a vampire. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Mummy said we'll be here all month. Mummy. Gross. Mummy oh, says plus we'll one cheerful. Here. There you go. Whoa. Now that we finished studying, what will you do for the weekend? I can sneak out. That's going to give me plus two willful and plus one lonely. Oh. What is my, <laughs> my mood here? Seer in the chat says he didn't call you your majesty. Make an example out of him. <laughs> uh, play with toys. Plus one yielding. Plus one lonely. Plus one cheerful. Walk in the gardens. Talk to your father. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Attend court. Explore the castle. Visit tomb. Plus one depressed. Plus one afraid. That's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> Attend Super. service is negative one, de- or negative one depressed. So that might be good. Yeah. Visit Charlotte and Lady Merva. I don't trust them. No Visit effect. dungeons, no effect. Uh, <laughs> so I'm leaning towards either attend service for negative one depressed or talk to your father. Your father is... Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Mr. Burdenator says this is what Fable 3 should have been. <laughs> that would be that. <laughs> yes. Or it's <laughs> like, shit, this game looks interesting. Yeah, this actually seems really yeah. rad. Even no, it's if cool. it was just this before you were an adult in Fable 3? If it was like this, then the big Fable 3 main section, and then the You're the King section at the end, or the Queen section? That would have been the best. Tolo says talk to daddy. Yeah, talk to dad. Pandora says don't talk to your dad if you don't have Falcons ready. (laughs) (laughs) Seer says visit the dungeon and find out who who to publicly execute first. Uh... Rockley points out the whole point of these places is to help you pick what mood you want for a stat bonus in class. Um, which is why I'm leaning towards get, you know, let's negative one depressed. Let's start moving That's that no up. fun. Play like a real princess. You do what you want. Friar, no, if the stream now. is stuttering, try changing the... Changing your source. It might help. Major, inter- major interview is Dylan in the chat says spec for accounting. Uh... What do you guys think? What do you two, Austin and Janine, think? Re, uh... I think... If you were a depressed princess, what would you do? I mean, I'd probably, I probably attend sort of... the service. I bet you that depressed vampire princess would do something different than this depressed princess. Pixel Kaiser says, <laughs> play all games like a real princess. Well, here's the thing we want to keep in mind. We're not just playing like a princess. We're playing like a princess who, deep down in her heart of hearts, wants to be a spy princess. Yeah. Right. And that's why, that's why I've got to go with talk to your father. I... <laughs> Done. Spying your dad. Your uncle and I have things to do. Maybe another time. Plus one lonely. Fuck you, dad. <laughs> what a Take your fucking dick. Off. <laughs> Dylan's oh. like, yeah, kill your father. 
Scratty his name says Jocelyn. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> so it looks like we actually have a little bonus to intrigue at this point, nice. which is nice. Um, there you go. We've got a little bonus to expression. We could start getting our ciphering up. We could, yep. uh... We could start doing some other military stuff like logistics. We could get lore up. We could start weapons training. I mean, we probably want to have some yeah, some weapon little, abilities or some, yeah. reflexes, maybe. Ooh, that sounds like a good idea. What's what's the description on reflexes? Is there one? Uh, yeah, let me... The ability to respond quickly to surprises. That sounds so important to me. <laughs> How about reflexes and uh, and then keep working on internal affairs? Sure. What, how does that sound to you guys? Yep, that works for me. Um, somebody suggested flexibility, the ability to stretch and contort without pain. Now let's do this. Okay. Your teacher walks around you, prodding a finger at you slowly in order to train you in blocking these touch those touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. Great. <sighs> Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the old Merville and originally asked your mother for title to the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As a compromise, your mother created her brother, Duke of Merva. Yeah, see, she's... Mother created safe. her brother? <laughs> <laughs> your mom was real powerful, dog. Her safety things, too, is so fucked up. Also, her name is Nix. Rockley smiles says, is it a spoiler to say roughly how many weeks there total there are? Go ahead, like, let's let's hear it. No, that's a spoiler. Really? You think so? Yeah. Don't, yeah, don't, don't pay attention. I assume to it can change some, too, depending on when you die. You, you just, this is your first run in this game. You just play the way you want to play. You don't worry. There's a commotion worry outside. Something's going on. Juliana, the Duchess of Ursul, has come to pay, my, pay respects to our mother. She looks cold. Get those oh, cold. shit. Father says it's because of this person wow. that she's dead. She's a lumen. I don't know what that is. You're a Novin, so there are lumens. There must be the other country. Mm, no. There must be like, Good guess. minority. <laughs> Good magic people? Are Good they magic like. Jews? Are they magic Jews? Is that what, what? they are? <laughs> Like in Valkyria Chronicles, there's this, there's this. I forget what they're called. But they're just like, oh, they're the oh Jews God. in this world. I can send her away, arrest her, or let her stay. I'm I mad at her dad. I'm mad at dad for not wanting to talk to me. Yeah, fuck him. So you should let her stay. You think? I think so. That's what I think. Let her stay, and like maybe she can help us figure out. Like maybe you know, maybe we're gonna be a spy for the rebellion. Maybe we're gonna oh, be shit. on the inside out, rotting the kingdom from the inside. Yeah. About this, I want to hear what she has to say. I love Plus that one kid. willful. Oh. Bam! Nice, nice. All right, we can sneak out, walk in the gardens, attend service, visit the tomb, attend court, talk to your father, explore castle, visit Charlotte, of course. But now we can visit Juliana as well. Maybe we should do that. Should we go talk to her? See what she has to say. That's, that's what I think. Tolvo says, no, chat. Don't tell him to fuck his dad. Let's try not to be too historically accurate here. Gross. <laughs> That's a different state of things, too, Mod. Um, yeah, let's, let's visit Juliana. I need to know if you have your mother's crystal. Whoa. Is this a Japanese game? Yes. Yeah. No, it isn't, so. actually. Huh. It's a it's a Western developed game with Interesting. clearly you know, inspired roots. Yeah, yeah. I recently read a Steam post that was like, "This game isn't even made in Japan." So <laughs> great. Maybe we can read that on air later. I think this was made with uh, Ren Pie, oh, which sure. is the yeah, yeah. thing that yeah Christine Love uses. Yeah, a lot of people use that. Um, yeah, it seems like a very very good engine. It is. Source of power for any lumen is a particular magical crystal. So lumens are like mages of some sort. Mages, yeah. Magic users, wizards. Magickers, I think is what we call them. <laughs> In Cyberpunkistan. Right. 
The royal crystal's been passed down from ruler to ruler for generations. It belongs to you now. The king may be keeping it from you. Dad, you son of a bitch. Not into it. All right, we're seeing the crystal here, the other crystal, Juliana's crystal. She wants us to find the crystal that belongs to us. Good. I like okay. that. I like that. Willful is up. Me too. I feel like we're getting mm -hmm. the binding. That's right. We're a little lonely and afraid and depressed, but the know. life of a spy is sad and lonely, man. Yeah, that this seems right for a spy. Maybe we should get more angry though. Okay. <laughs> Looking over here. Um, I'm thinking we start. I'm thinking we, we keep we keep building up under intrigue. Maybe move yeah. from internal affairs to like foreign intelligence or ciphering for a week. Sure, sure. Um, do you think we should get a weapon like a swords? Yeah, maybe or that archery. Or what's more? Either... What's more spy like? Archery would let you snipe people. I've, I've played. I would a, go uh, with archery. You you think archery? Yeah, that's what a spy would have. This documentary called Skyrim, um, and <laughs> that Lumber, uh, Lumberjack yeah. Bonanza says, "Become the spy master, magical girl," <laughs> which I like. All right, so we're yeah. gonna do. If like throat slit and knife was one of these skills, I'd say that, but it isn't. So archery. <laughs> we're gonna do ciphering, and archery, the ability to strike a target at range. Yeah. Ciphering is learning to read and write secret information, of course. <laughs> Lumberjack Bonanza says, maybe you should learn more about economics since you're going to run a country. <laughs> Auburn DRM, uh, Auburn DM, sorry, wants me to shoot falcons from my bow. Rockley Smile suggests training your falcon to shoot a bow. Uh, you learn how to twist and wax a bowstring from a variety of fibers. That's an important part of archery. Yeah. You're really close to the bow, you know, like you really want to like understand how it works, how to ma maintain it. You practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order, the simplest of transpositions, which anyone literate can puzzle through if they try, but sometimes useful to hide information. Whoa, whoa, what? This is, they did it thing. They made it. Okay, it's a code. I can't. Uh, I, just type, I just type it in the chat so I can look at it. Um, you can hear me typing. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a terrible cipher. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> Dylan wants me to train ciphers IRL. Oh, Charlotte is going through some shit. Of course she is. Fucking vampires. Lottie. Oh, in plain Ugh. sight? It's in plain sight? Yeah, there you go. In plain sight, okay. It's backwards, but they also threw spaces in weird spots. Oh. <laughs> Friar top, John's just uh, oh, he's done with me. The top level of the cipher skill uh, is just like oh you play shit, oh shit. Uh -oh. Wow. Uh, should I hold still or look down? She said, "Don't move." I think I should probably hold hold still. Do we trust Juliana? I guess. I. I I trust her. All right, hold still. I've seen a few anime. Oh before. shit! You want to hold still, but you don't have the composure to hold your position without no. peeking. You look down where a sword is pointing. There's a snake in the grass. I got plus one afraid. Oh. Oh jeez. A milk viper. Oh boy, Nix is gonna hate us now. Yeah, Charlotte, Charlotte might be. Oh, they're leaving. Thank God, I wanted them out. <laughs> Milk vapors are not native to this area. That mm. snake should never have been here. Oh man, it's an assassination attempt. All right, well. So they're gone. Okay.